You're still watching Ways. February 15 is Single Awareness Day. It serves as a complement to Valentine's Day for people who are single, that is not in a marriage or a romantic relationship. It is a celebration of love in all forms, recognizing the love between friends, family, and loving yourself. On Single Awareness Day, single people gather to celebrate or to commiserate in their single status. Some want to remind romantic couples that they don't need to be in a relationship to celebrate life. Common activities include attending singles events and gift giving for oneself. Aww. What do you think? <laughs> we just called it Post Valentine's it Day, so it has a real name. Oh, so sorry. I am very book. sorry for stealing their day. I apologize, <laughs> all the singles. But I think. Um, this should be like an everyday thing to celebrate yourself every day in mm -hmm. respective of your relationship status mm -hmm. and also to be just be good to people family friends we don't have every day mm -hmm. with people and then you know look at again to kobe Bryant's story he didn't yes. know he wouldn't come back so it's just important to every day appreciate life mm -hmm. and spread love when you can but it's okay to have a day you know no romantic thing and everybody just, needs a day you know, yeah everybody mm -hmm. needs, i think know. so yeah. singles too Singles. <laughs> okay. And loving so, yourself is there is a there is a book. I have forgotten the author now. It said um um being single and loving it. I don't know, it's, it's an old book. And what that um, author was just trying to say is that you can be single and you can be happy and you can love yourself and enjoy being single. Mm. So I think that's what this is all about. Totally agree, 100%. Yes. So being single, that you don't have anything to tie you back. No husbands, no children. Ah. You just have to have fun. <laughs> Excellent. I mean, it's glad they, mm. it's wonderful that they have a, a, a day, day for to themselves. Celebrate. Exactly. So here's what caught our attention in the news. What do you have for us? Okay, so how many of you have observed this haze? Like, I think it started like on Monday. The mm -hmm. haze when you come up from your house, the and then you, is you real. think it's another hammer town, but it's not. It's just is dust. It not? It's dust, Uti. It is, it's not cold. So my story links to that, and it's mm -hmm. taken from CNN, but it's also been reported in various newspapers. So international flights to Lagos divert to Ghana mm -hmm. due to poor equipment, leaving passengers stranded. Mm. So you see the flights have been diverted to countries like Ghana mm -hmm. and this they go is to Dakar as well. And they go to Dakar and mm -hmm. and the diversion obviously is as a result of the poor weather condition, but it's also because the international airport, the Mutala mm -hmm. Mohammed Airport, does not have um what they call the instrument landing system, the category three. What we have is the category two. two. And they're installing, or they have installed the category three, but I think they have some technical issues with the installation. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, because what the ILS does, it works as a signal, you know, navigating planes in poor weather conditions. Mm -hmm. And so if you don't have that, some airlines would not risk the yeah. fact, you know, just mm -hmm. flying blind. Some of them have very strict policies, you mm -hmm. know, coming into the country. The problem is that when people are dropped off in Accra, Ghana, how do they get to Lagos? They're stranded. Mm -hmm. And now the airlines do not want to take responsibility. responsibility. In fact, there's a letter being put out by BA, um, British Airways, and I think it's, it's, on, um, it's on social media. And they're saying, I'm sorry, we can't go further. So stay here, sort yourself how you get home, send us a bill. Hmm. And I think that you paid for your flight to get to Lagos. Hmm. It's, it's just so frustrating. But some airlines, um, such as Qatar Airlines, have written to um, the federal government and they have permissions to divert the flights to Abuja. Okay. And I think Abuja is a safer place to land. To I land. Think they yeah. have, Compared to Lagos. They have, they have the, the signal system installed. Uh -huh. Okay. That's I think it's a, it's a false major or act of God. Is that what this will be called? Yes, it is. So it is. My anger back. is that it is not cold. It is just dusty. It's dusty. It's really, really, it's really dusty. dusty. Yeah, it's not I, helping. If I may step in there, the, that is like... <laughs> <laughs> That's somebody's um, uh, somebody's beef. You know, one man's meat is another man's poison. I don't think poison. it's anybody's meat. No, I'm going to. No, I'm, I'm getting somewhere because okay. somebody was supposed to travel out of the country mm -hmm. to, um, two days ago mm -hmm. for work, and he wanted to spend Valentine with his wife. Aww. And because of that, actually, it's my brother. And because Aww. of that, <laughs> he said, "Just keep praying that the weather is like this." <laughs> So he's like up So, so yeah. he's, he's, he's fantastic. See, so for some blessing. people, it's, it's a blessing for, for him. Some, I two agree. sides to every coin. Thank yes. you. Exactly. Thank you exactly. see what you have for us. Okay, my story is coming from um, um, Info, Information Nigeria, and it's all about um, fe uh, federal government announcing that 36 million <laughs> 
reward for any scientist who finds cure for coronavirus. Mm. For me, I think that that is like it, it, I can I can take it two ways. Mm -hmm. Basically, one is like um, that's a good thing to say, but probably. Are you making mockery of a, um, a situation that is actually killing people? Because currently in Nigeria, we have different people who have tried to do or invent one thing or the other, and the government hasn't in any form um, aided them or um, helped them to boost mm -hmm. whatever um, project they have um, um, invented. Mm -hmm. And we also have a situation whereby we had the lecturers who are the TET fund. Mm -hmm. um, yes, 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 with the embezzlement. Who, yeah. who have embezzled money mm -hmm. that are supposed to be for research. Uh, a lady actually said research money for coronavirus has been used to mm -hmm. actually en enrich themselves. Mm -hmm. So we have different, there are two types of a coin here. They are actually um, having lip service to yeah, me. That's what yeah, I think it, yeah. it's all about. They should be more serious. This is not a thing to play about. Um, Nigeria government should take take the bull by the horn and also face it headstrong. Head yes, it's not it's not something that you should joke about. It's not about. a joke. So it's, it's not a it's joke. PR People are dying. Exactly. It's PR one hundred and one. And they're piggybacking on this issue. But the first thing I saw when I saw this story, first mm -hmm. thing I did was roll my eyes. The second thing I did was. Why is it Corona that you are placing 36? What have you done the for Lassa, Lassa fever? fever? That is right here. Yes. I think they even put it side by side, but I still think it's it's an insult mm. to those who have lost their lives in, because of this. I still think so. No, well, they should focus on the right things. Well, and what I would like to see is even that preparation um, of what, what happens have they tomorrow. Do? Yeah, have they, exactly. What, have, they what done? have you done? What have you put in place yes. to actually tackle this disease? Mm. What you've done now is you've gone to ring it. We're doing something. But in actual tact, what are you what doing? What are you nothing doing? Being, it seems like nothing is being done, actually, because your story feeds uh, very nicely into uh, mine, which is also mm. on the coronavirus, but a different side to it that says um, five people tested negative. So I, uh, I'm a bit. Uh, <laughs> I've been following this story from you know every every we all single follow, out we out. We all follow it every day. You want to see the death tolls. You want to see where yeah. the disease has reached and how close. And how close is how it close to, to Nigeria? Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah. So it's in Egypt. But even yes. the thing for me was in all the stories, I kept looking for what is Nigeria doing? What is Nigeria doing? Because I was worried that. Uh, our confidence from how we treated Ebola, Ebola would impact how we would plan for this. So I kept looking. So when I saw this story, I thought, okay, thank God. So the NCDC uh, are currently testing all travelers who are returning from China within the last 20 uh, to 30 days, but only if they are showing symptoms. I'm a bit concerned about that. Because, and yeah. I, I, the, the phrase uh, or the quotes that were said that, why should we waste reagents testing everyone? Mm. is a little bit concerning. It's, it's worrying, Uti. It's really exactly. worrying because <clears throat> From what I read is that you can, they could actually transfer this disease before they start showing symptoms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's really worrying if we're to wait for symptoms before we start. We act. Given the amount of people, you know, the amount of business we do with China and the flow mm -hmm. of human traffic, I think really it's important that we're testing everyone. And I would like to see some plans. We have two, three international airports. Yeah. What are the plans in those cities? In place. Wuhan was able to build a hospital in eight days. Do we Can have that happen some in hospitals Nigeria? that have been identified? You know, I'm not so even wish. telling you build, but yeah. have you even identified a hospital? Because in the story, he also said, if you start to feel like you're showing symptoms, don't go to a hospital. Call us and we'll come to you. So there is thought behind it. Yeah. But when you say we'll come to you, in those particular cities where you could come into, where you're more likely to catch these people as they're coming into the country, what plans do you have? Because it would be nice for them to start to, rather than trying to do a PR stunt of 36 million, start to really report on actions that you're taking. Okay, can we just probably just hope that they actually mean it and it's not a sound bite? Because it's scary when they, you think um, of all this. The only really time scary. they will mean it, as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> the only time they will mean it is when it's at their doorstep. Please That's let me not time. get to their doorstep because their doorstep is my doorstep. Please, can coronavirus, please, can you just stay back? Thank you. <laughs> it's, um, hopefully, we'll see uh, where we're going with this. Yeah, oh, great. hopefully. Okay. So, stay with us um, as Olagoke Balogun joins us after the break. <laughs> 